Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a very exciting update to my whole collection project pan. This is my third update. I feel like I just posted my other one, but I actually have five products to roll out today and I really just like to keep this project going. So let's just get started. And I think uh, because I'm working on 23 products, at all times, um, like I, I always like, it's like, um, what do you call it? A rolling style <laughs> project. So when I roll something out, I roll something else back in. So I'm always working on 23 products for 2023. Um, but I think it's gonna get very repetitive throughout the videos if I keep talking about the same products. Cause if, you know, a lot of these products are going to be in here for a while. So I think I'll just start with the products that I'm rolling out. And then I'll quickly show you what's staying in. And then at the end, I will show you the new products that I'm bringing in. So let's start with my brow products. I'm actually rolling out both of the brow products. The first one is my Patrick Ta Shaping Wax, and I had said in another video that I might declutter this after I hit my goal because the pan is not in, you know, the product is not in the pan anymore. Um, but I actually really like this, and I don't mind the fact that it's not in the pan because when I use this, you have to water activate it. So I just hold it down and I spray it with whatever setting spray I'm using at the time. I use the brush, the spoolie that came with this product, and it doesn't like fly around everywhere as long as I'm careful. Um, and I kind of just want to keep it in. <laughs> in my collection um, because I'm wearing it today and I really like how it does like what I want it to do. It separates, um, it makes my brows look, I guess, fluffier because it separates the hairs, but it doesn't make them feel crispy or it doesn't make them look like there's tons of product in them. So I, I want to keep this, but I will roll it out because I've actually used it 21 times and I only meant to use it 10 times. <laughs> so I've been using this every time I do my makeup pretty much. So yeah, this can go back in my collection. The next brow product is my Kosas Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil. I have been loving this, but I've met my goal. I've used it 12 times I only meant to use it 10 and I do have other brow pencils but I like this one I like the spoolie I like the shape of it it's like square shaped and it's really easy to use um, it is one of these like teardrop shaped pencils but it's very thin and small so I find it does really good like details and how I use it is I draw like a line under my brow and then I turn it on its side and I flick up to create like at least some kind of dimension in my brows. And I really love the color because it's, um, I think it's described as a neutral brown. I, I don't remember. The shade itself is called medium brown, but I just like that it's not a warm brown because a lot of brow products for uh, brown hair always lean warm and I don't I do not like my brows to look warm. So Yeah, I'll put this one back in my collection um, There is tons of it left. I rolled it up today just to see and like it's still There's all of this so <laughs> Yeah, it's not gonna be finished anytime soon. I was worried in the last update that this may have dried out, but um, it kind of just like looks a bit waxy around, like it has that wax bloom or whatever. But as I've been using it and warming it up, it's working fine, so I'm not concerned about that right now. The next thing I'm rolling out is 
a concealer. My Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I mention this in a lot of videos. Um, I don't use this under my eyes. I use it as a spot concealer and I like it for that. I love the shade of this for my face skin. <laughs> um, it's the shade 2.3. Uh, I hate the packaging. It's messy. I have to clean it constantly because the wand pushes the product back up and yeah. Anyway, but I've used this 11 times. I meant to use it 10 so I meant my goal on this and I can put this back in my collection. The next product I'm rolling out is a lip liner and it should be no surprise because I feel like I've been talking about this in every video. My MAC uh, Soar lip liner. It's still, I mean, a full size. Um, it could probably be sharpened soon but I'm going to be putting it back anyway. But I've been loving this. It's a great, like, um, it's kind of like my natural lip color but deeper and maybe more pink. Um, but it works with tons of my nude um, lip colors that are in my shop, my stash or in projects. And I really like the formula. It's nice and creamy, but it also doesn't like go everywhere. So I really like the MAC lip liners, I've realized. I actually used this 14 times. I only meant to use it 10, so that's going back in my collection. And the last product going back is my setting spray, my Peach and Lily Glass Skin Veil Mist. I've been liking this, but I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I was expecting more, maybe? Because I feel like I've seen people raving about this and I don't find it does that much. I've been using it like every time I do my makeup, I just don't feel like it, it's not like MAC Fix Plus where like if you have dry skin and you really need a setting spray to like melt all, everything together, it doesn't do as well, as good of a job as MAC Fix Plus, let's just say that. Um, yeah, I mean today it's fine, I am wearing it right now, but I'm also wearing the Rose Ink Skin Enhance Luminous Tinted Serum, so it's already like kind of glowy. Um, yeah, I just don't feel like this adds that much, but I've been liking it. I like the spray too. It's um, not like an aggressive, like in your face spray. It's nice and even. So yeah, I'm going to keep this in my collection, but I need to rotate through my setting sprays. And um, this was brand new when I rolled it in, and if I hold it up to the light, I can see like I've only used <laughs> that much. So this is going to last me a while. So that was everything I'm rolling out. And quickly I'll just show you what's still, what's staying in the project. This Makeup Forever Artist Face Color, um, this blush specifically, this is the shade B308 and I have a goal to use this 15 times and I've only used it 5, um, so that's staying in. My Freck Beauty Cheek Slime, I've only used it twice, I am wearing it today, um, I found a way <laughs> to make it not as... Uh, pigmented and sheer it out um, so I'm liking this and it's great for this time of year it's a nice like vibrant red like a very deep coral red I would say it's the shade fever dream um, so my goal is to use it 10 times so eight more to go my hydrating complexion trio from Alamar cosmetics I actually rolled in specifically the bronzer this shade here, Cafe Con Leche, and I don't know if you can tell, but it does have some use on it. It was um, brand new when I rolled it in, and I've actually been using this middle shade too. It looks really light in the pan, but I do find it adds kind of like a yellow tone. That sounds really not appealing, <laughs> but 
um, on my skin tone as like um, a very light bronzer it does actually give me some depth but then I usually go over it with this one anyway but yeah I am wearing down the embossing so that's a good sign but my goal is to use this 15 times and I've used it 13 so this will definitely be rolled out for the next for the next update um, my eyeliner, my Tristique Santorini Black Sand. This is just like a gel liner. I only put a goal to use this five times because I never use eyeliner. And I actually used it four. So this will be rolled out for the next update. I am wearing it today. So I've been trying to find out like ways that I like to wear eyeliner. And I don't mind tight lining um, on my like outer corner tight line <laughs> if that makes sense um, with a black liner because I feel like it makes my eyelashes look fuller um, and today I actually tried to smudge it a little on the upper lash line because I realized this is a very creamy eyeliner and when I do put it in my tight line it does I don't know if you can see on camera, but it does transfer to the bottom anyway, so I don't love that. Um, I like to try and use this to create a wing, like that smoky like eyeliner wing look. That would be really easy to do, so I'll probably do that next time um, because it's just a very smudgeable eyeliner. But it doesn't really work exactly how I want it to, which is on my tight line because it transfers. Anyway, so that's staying in, but I only have one more use. Um, this palette, I'm not doing well on this at all. This is actually one of my favorite palettes, as I've mentioned in other videos. The Too Faced Shake Your Pom Poms palette. Um, but I, for some reason, put my goal on this to use it 20 times. I guess I thought I would use it um, in conjunction with other things, but I haven't. Um, yeah, I don't know. Because it's a very neutral, like, everyday palette, so I don't feel like I need to reach into this for anything. You know what I mean? Um, but I do love using it. I like traveling with this palette too, but I've only used it where I'm looking at my Excel sheet. I've only used it once. <laughs> Is that true? I feel like I use it twice. Okay, I don't know. Either way, I have to use it 20 times, so it's not going to be rolled out anytime soon. Maybe I'll start, you know, combining it in just so we get some rotation going. Maybe I can use this brown as a brow powder. I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, I just have been trying to focus on other things. I have my Pandos eyeshadows um, project. I have a eyeshadow palette in my deck of panning. So yeah, this one kind of went on the back burner probably because I know I really like it and I'm not going to get rid of it so I'm not like, you know, wanting to get to it as quickly as other things, I guess. Um, I'm supposed to be <laughs> going through these products quickly. My Rose Ink Tinted Serum, like I said, I'm wearing it today. Um, I love this product. I have noticed I can only use one pump. I've tried using two pumps just to like kind of use it up faster to be honest but I feel like at, after one pump and if you try and put more on you can start to like see it on the skin and if you don't blend it out well enough like you'll see like streaks of product so one pump is really best for me and um yeah but I would like to roll this out after how many more uses I've used it eight out of the ten times, so yeah, I'm going to use it two more times and I already know what I would replace this with unless I pull something else in the foundation category, but I do have another product I want to replace this with, 
But yeah, this will go back in my collection. It's one of my favorite face products. The color is a little light for me though. So I don't know if I'd pull this back out in the summer. Unless I just don't get any sun at all and I stay this shade. <laughs> Who knows? Oh, my perfume. I forgot to get my perfume. I'll show you that later. Um, my highlighters. So the first one is the MAC Double Gleam Extra Dimension Skin Finish. That's staying in. I've only used it 2 out of 10 times. Um, same with my Hard Candy Rose Gold Mini Highlighter. I've used it only 2 out of 10 times. I am wearing it today. I really like it. Um, but I've just been using other things. My Marc Jacobs Forbidden Fruit Lip Gloss. I used it 3 out of 10 times. I brought this with me on my vacation and I really liked it, but I just wasn't wearing lip gloss every day. Still have 7 more uses to go on this. My Lethal Cosmetics Nova Lip Gloss. This is my new favorite lip gloss, I think. <laughs> this I've only used 5 out of 10 times but it shouldn't be difficult. It's a really like basic nude that I can wear with any look. Um, the other lip liner in this project is the Bodyography Rosewood Lip Pencil. This is a very deeper, like more vampy shade, but I have been using it when I've been trying like some liquid lipsticks or Basically any lip product that's not light enough for my MAC Sore, I was using this lip liner instead. So I have used it 5 out of the 10 times, so 5 more to go, and it does need to be sharpened, so um, yeah, that's a good sign I suppose. My Sephora Cream Lip Stain in 01, this is the product I rolled in last update. I have a goal to use it five times and I have not used it yet. It is a red shade. So yeah, I just have to be in the mood to wear um, a red lip look. So yeah, that's why I only put a five use goal on that one. My Becca Hydra Mist. This is a loose powder. I've actually been using this and liking it. I try to um, use it in my pores here and it does actually smooth and like blur without looking powdery so I've actually really been liking this I know this product doesn't exist anymore because Becca is not a brand anymore <laughs> but um, my goal is to use it 10 times I've only used it three so far but I feel like I'll be using this like every time I do my makeup so that shouldn't be difficult to be rolled out for next update and when I roll that out then I'll focus on the KVD locket one I've only used this one twice this one I feel like does um, this one can look powdery especially if I use it under my eyes so I haven't been wanting to reach for this one really but maybe after I'm done with the Becca one I'll start using this in the same way like just to kind of pat over my pores and we'll see if I like it. If not, I can pass it on to somebody else because it was brand new when I rolled it in. My Pure 4-in-1 Correcting Primer. I've been liking this. It's going to be really nice in the warmer months if it, if it stays around that long. I don't think it will actually because I already used it 7 of the 10 times. This is for, it says Energize and Rescue. It's a silicone free primer. Really this is like a moisturizer, but I love it because I have dry skin and it has aloe, coconut water, and probiotics and it just feels really nice on the face. Um, so three more uses to go and the other primer is my e.l.f. putty primer. Where did I put it? Oh, I forgot to take it out of the drawer. This one here, this one I have used four out of the ten times, but I don't know. I just don't need pr 
products like this in my collection. I really just wanted to try it because everybody was raving about it. This is the original one, so just like basic, doesn't do anything special. I've been trying to pan it just for fun, <laughs> but even if I do hit pan, like there's still, you know, all this product around where the pan would be, so whatever. But I do have the brush that goes with it and I love using that brush with this product. It's the Putty Primer Applicator. So you you scoop it with the bottom and then you just pat it in and I really like it. It's just, it's not really something I need, I feel. Because it doesn't do enough also. Like when I put it over my pore area, it doesn't really do that much, I feel. So what's the point? I'd rather use a hydrating primer like this one for my dry skin anyway. So yeah, that was everything. I will pull in five new products to replace the ones that I'm rolling out and I'll come back to show you what those are. Okay, before I show you the new products, I did forget to show you my fragrance. This is the... Lancome Idol, um, and I am supposed to use this up. <laughs> I've used it nine times and it still looks like this. So I don't know what I was thinking. I remember saying in my intro that this would go by like super quick. Um, yeah, no. This is a very like potent fragrance at least for my preference, so I don't use a lot of it at once. And even after nine uses, like I've only made that much of a dent on this little mini. So this is gonna stay around. <laughs> I don't mind, cause I feel like this is a nice, like year long fragrance. Like it's not specific to any sort of season. So yeah, I don't mind keeping it around. I just thought I would have at least used up like half by now, but no. I don't know what I was thinking. So I did choose my five new products and if you're wanting to know how I choose products for this project, you can watch my last update. Um, I It's a mix of like randomizing, but also I have certain rules. So one rule is that I don't want to be working on more than two products in the same category. That doesn't mean like, let's say for blush in general, um, the max would be like two cream blushes, two powders, like not just like one cream, one powder. Does that make sense? So yeah, what are my other rules? That's pretty much it. And as long as something is not in another project, of course. So the first thing, um, I did roll in another setting spray to replace my Peach and Lily. This is from Hard Candy. It's the Rose Drench Toner and Refresher with Hyaluronic Acid and Rose Water. It's from the Marilyn Monroe collection. I hope it's still good because I feel like that was a long time ago. <laughs> but I do remember liking this and I actually seem to have Oh, there's like stuff floating in here. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, that's kind of weird. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. Maybe I just need to shake it. Um, there's no like expiry date, so whatever. I don't know. If it smells weird or does anything weird to my skin, I'll obviously just get rid of it. But I remember liking this and I feel like I have pretty a pretty good dent in it already. So we'll see how much more use I get out of it. I'll do a 10 use goal like I did for the Peach and Lily just to keep rotating through my setting sprays. But yeah, that's my gonna be my new one. I did roll in another blush even though I have two blushes, but like I said, um, one blush is a powder and one is a cream, so I was okay to roll in another one. And anyway, I need to work on my blushes because I have way too many of them. So the, the one I rolled in is very exciting because it's from my new makeup drawer. It's the Pat McGrath Labs 
Divine Blush Duo in the shade Cosmic Coral. So perfect for spring, I feel. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. I have not used this yet. Oh yeah, these weird ones that don't open the way you want them. Okay, finally got that open. This is what it looks like. Um, it has a nice, like, vibrant coral, I suppose. And then, like, a more, like, brownie, rosy tone. So, I don't know how I'll use this yet. Maybe I'll just mix it all together, or maybe I'll use, like, more of this shade one day and more of that shade another who knows but this is exciting to have in this project so my other blushes I said 10 well I said 15 on the makeup forever one because it's a very basic shade I think I'll do a 10 new skull on this one because um, I have other blushes in my shot my stash to use also so yeah let's do 10 uses for this I did roll in another highlighter, but a liquid highlighter. So I already have two highlighters in this project, but they're both powder. And this one happened to be the one I rolled in randomly. It's also in my Shot My Stash. So yeah, that works out well. <laughs> so I think I'm going to say... So my other highlighters, what did I say for those? Um, 10. I have already used this twice since it's been in my shot my stash. Um, let's say five. Five uses on this one. Because I don't often reach for liquid highlighters. Yeah, I think five's good and then we'll see. Because um, so far I don't know if I love this product. I did like it the last time I used it. The first time I used it, I found it broke up my foundation. So, yeah, it has, there's like a learning curve on this product. And I did want to try mixing this in with like a primer or something and see if, if I like it like that. So, yeah, let's do five uses on this liquid highlighter. Did I even say what, this is the Temp2 and it was like a collab with BoxyCharm. This is like a brand that you, they make um, airbrush products, but apparently you can apply this with your fingers, so yeah. And that is super old, so yeah. Um, and then I did roll in a concealer. I don't know how this is gonna go <laughs> because I rolled in a concealer palette this is super old and I don't even know if I like the formula. I seem to have only used it like once or twice and I've only used from what it looks like these two shades. But as you can see this is like all different shades of concealer. It's called a concealer collection and it's by Measurable Difference whatever that is but I was thinking I might use some of these like this shade here as a cream contour um, but I also might hate this so if that's the case I'll just declutter it and roll in something else but yeah this will be my concealer palette and then the last product I rolled in is an eyeshadow palette so I am working on a lot of eyeshadows but I only have one palette in this project and that's the mini Too Faced palette that I just showed you. And the palette that I randomly rolled happens to be my <laughs> Colourpop Harry Potter palette. This is a palette I keep like separate on display there so yeah. Um, I've used it once in the video where I reviewed well, I gave my first impressions on this collection, and I did really like it. I used the, um, if I remember correctly, like these two rows, like a mixture of those. But there is some like fun pops of color in this palette too. So this could be fun. This isn't something I really think like spring when I look at it, but we can make it work. So let's do, 
let's do five uses, not 20 like my <laughs> other palette. Um, and see where we're at after that. But yeah, I think that's, that's a good number for me. So, that's everything. This is exciting. These are fun products. Um, I'm hoping they're not expired. <laughs> Especially my, um, my setting spray and my concealer palette. I don't know how much use I'll get out of those, but we'll have to just see. That's the point of this project, to rotate through my collection. So yeah, I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!